Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a great Thursday and ready to tackle another question in day eight of our 2023 resolution countdown. This is another short writing exercise. You can be doing these in a notebook or just scrap paper or on your computer or on your phone. Just try out some different methods if you want to see what you actually prefer doing. There's no one right way to do this. The right way for you is the one that works for you the best. It's a little windy out here today, so sorry if that messes with the sound. Today I'm asking myself, what do I want to know? What do I want to learn? What new skill would I like to develop? What task do I wish I knew how to do? Um, what confuses me? Be curious. Try to open yourself up to the idea of knowing. And again, don't limit yourself to being rational or practical. And don't tie your answers to any like further conclusion. You can want to learn about stars without wanting to become an astronaut. Um, you can learn to play the piano just for the fun of it. You can learn a new language, even if you don't know anyone else who speaks it. You know, we were trained to only want to learn when we're getting credit for it or if it will lead to more money. But, you know, it's a shame because learning new things is a huge gift that you give yourself to be able to understand more, to do more, to build yourself up in new ways. I always get asked how I got into making guitar pedals, and it just came from me being curious and from giving myself permission to find out like giving myself time to read up on it, um, giving myself permission to spend money, like buying components and breadboards. And when I had that question of how does this work, you know, I added it to a list that I keep in my planner. I don't really like to rely on my memory all the time. Some people act like it's no problem, but I feel like it causes me extra stress where I'm trying to require myself to do this additional labor of remembering. Or, or they'll say, if it was a really good idea, then I'll remember. But don't sell yourself short like that. If it was an idea that gave you pause at all, write it down or, or type it in your notes app or, or do one of the voice recordings on your phone. I do that all the time. Um, but take your own ideas seriously. Take your curiosity seriously. You have the capacity to understand so much, to, to develop so many skills. It's truly limitless. Sometimes there's some gatekeeping around knowledge. Um, you can't understand that, or you're not qualified, or you don't have the background, or you're a girl. All of that is just silly. No one starts out qualified. No one has the right to say who has the right to information or skill. And, and you may get zero encouragement. Everyone you meet might say, that's a silly thing to want to know, or why do you want to know about that? Or how is that going to get you anywhere? Um, but don't let others' lack of confidence in themselves dissuade you. Uh, don't let their fear of failure infect your own possibilities. Why not you? Who else? So that's the whole exercise today. Don't spend too long on it. Just jot down what comes to you, what you've been curious about. You can always add to it later when inspiration strikes. I'd love to hear about the things that you'd like to know more about or know how to do. So please leave me a comment if you'd like to share. Thank you so much for watching. Whether you comment or not, it's very much appreciated. And I hope you find it helpful in developing some really successful New Year's resolutions that create some beautiful change in your life. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.